Opinion leaders in River State have thrown their weights behind the probe of the Niger Delta Development Commission. But beyond the investigation by the National Assembly, there are divergent views about the problems plaguing the interventionist agency. Correspondent Uchi Okoro reports. 20 years of controversies revolving around allegations of corruption summarizes the last 20 years of the Niger Delta Development Commission since its establishment in the year 2000. Rural communities of the Niger Delta states show a region yearning for sustainable development that reflects the wealth generated from their land. The region would ask for a better proof. We are still in support of the forensic audit, but this time we will request Mr. President to appoint the forensic auditors through the Auditor General of the Federation. Let the Auditor General conduct a forensic audit for us to see what is going on. I also applaud the government for taking the initiative to make sure that uh, it gets to the root of the matter. So that let us know whether really this is just uh, one of those kind of stories or whether really there's actually the issue of diversion of fund meant to bring happiness to the greatest number of inhabitants of this resource rich region. The people make recommendations to the National Assembly and the Presidency to change the story of the NDDC and by extension the oil rich region that the agency represents. It's a warning to those who have oversight functions to perform that no matter what you do, a judgment day will come that if you are one who compromises your positions or one who decides that a, a situation of trust can become a veritable instrument of accumulation, appropriating revenues or other purposes of office you know, to yourself, rather than discharge your duties uh, to the utmost of your responsibility and your ability, a day will come for reckoning. As a Niger Delta leader, I don't have faith in National Assembly anymore on this matter. They have been accused that most of the business, most of the contract, most of the investment were done by them. Let them point themselves. Until they point themselves, we cannot believe them, we cannot trust them. That's the truth. After past experiences of similar probes, Niger Delta stakeholders and indeed many residents are hopeful that this time around the investigation of the NDDC will be pursued to its logical conclusion and all those found guilty of corruption punished irrespective of their status. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.